Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're going to be playing EverQuest Project 1999 with a twist. So I reached out to the P99 Facebook community, said, look, I'm going to be taking on this project of a permadeath series. So I asked what kind of class, race, any kind of situational information that they wanted to add to it, and I put it all into a list. So... I'm going to put that list on the side here. You should be able to see it now. And we're going to go ahead and random. So I'm going to random 18 because there's 18 options on the list. And we are going to get number four. And if we look at number four, it is a dwarf anything. So that means that I need to now roll another number four. Random four. And that gives me number three, which means I'm going to be starting out as a dwarf rogue. All right. <laughs> that should be interesting. And um, also have a friend who's joining me and they want me to roll for them as well using the same list. Now, this doesn't remove that race class off of my list. It just uh, allows them to be able to make a character as well. So we're going to random 18. They get 14, which is a high elf cleric. Good choice. <laughs> so I don't have to roll again because it was specifically said a high elf cleric. Um, let us uh, begin. Okay, here we go. We're going to go ahead and create our character. It is a dwarf rogue. Go ahead and go mail. Yeah, there we go. Something like that. And then we're going to go ahead and put, I think what we're going to do is we're going to split it because I want to make sure I have a good amount of health. So we'll do um, the 105 into stamina, 105 into strength. Now I've planned out the character name that I'm going to be using and I'm not going to be saying it correctly. I'm sure it is T-O-T-E-R. And the last name, if I ever get that high, is going to be Mon. So it's Totemann, which means dead man. <laughs> so in German. So we're going to go with Brel uh, Severalis. And the reason we're going to do this is because of the fact that if we get high enough that we can go to the hole, he shouldn't have problems with the indigenous life, um, mostly. So that is what we're going to go with. Okay, so here we go. Um, the first thing we need to do is read our note. And, uh, well, we'll put our weapon in our hand in just a moment. <laughs> Um, so, uh, note please. Uh, you've earned yourself quite a little reputation around Kaladim. I believe we could strike a deal that could be mutually beneficial. Return this note to me. I could use someone with your talents in my outfit. Mater. <laughs> okay, great. Love it. All right, let's go ahead and throw this away. We're not going that hardcore or just doing permadeath. So let's go ahead and head over to the Rogue Guild. I have uh, some things that I'm planning to do as far as staying alive and, and so on. Uh, it's not going to be too hard, but uh, yeah, should uh, should be interesting. Okay, so here are the plans. Here are the things that I'm thinking about. So... I feel that the little things are important. And for me, one of the things I accidentally do is turn on my auto attack like it is right now. Well, I have a tendency to go up to merchants like that. That's a bad thing. So what I'm going to do is whenever I talk to a merchant, talk to a person, I'm going to I'm going to use 
uh, crotch or duck or whatever you want to call this. And uh, we're going to go ahead and hand our note and some mater. And we'll get our soiled shirt or whatever it's called. And we're going to go ahead and hail him. Welcome to the mines. Okay. Let's go ahead and see if any of these guys have quests that I don't know about. Oh, uh, what business do you have here? This here is the mine, and that means if you ain't a miner, or miner guild 628, you'd best be moving on. I wish to be a member of Miners Guild 628. <laughs> well then, get off your rump and give us a hand. If you don't have a mining pick, then get down there and use your fingernails. <laughs> it, uh, it's your new... Okay, wait a minute. If your new and you want to earn a pick you can volunteer to exterminate the rats which have been infesting the mines say i will vol un tier to exterminate <laughs> Did I say that wrong? Did I type it wrong? Let's, let's try that again. A-T-E. The rat. Okay. Well, someone has to do the dirty work around here. Let's uh, let it be all... You new miners, go patrol the mines, and if you see any rats, bash them good. Return back to me with four rat pelts, and I will give you some armor as payment. If you want a 628 mining cap, you're gonna have to smash the infernal cleaner. Say what? Infernal cleaner don't take this person uh, personally but i can't quite trust you with such matters maybe a few less butcher <laughs> butcher chomps bandits would prove your worth okay so at least right now i have one quest oh i do need to do a thing oh my goodness i'm in the fire pit let's roll out <laughs> okay so we need to go ahead and click on mater and go ahead and do since heading um can i oh since heading is a 50 on a dwarf that's right all right cool so i don't even have to train it right now i don't think i can go past 50 um though i can go ahead and try since heading Let's go ahead and put it down here. By the way, I need to do my UI. So what I'll do is uh, give me a few minutes and I will get the UI set up.
Okay, so I've set up my UI the way I want it. I know I'm kind of picky. It's a lot. Normally I don't do this much, but I want to make sure that I um, can concentrate on multiple things at the same time. So this is uh, me hitting I, um, mobs, and this is me being hit. Allows me to know whenever I need to sneak hide or evade away, those kind of things. So we got a quest by Jeet to kill rats uh, over here. By the way, for those of you who don't know the town very well, uh, in here is the bank. And I'll just show you that. Um, yeah. So I'm talking to uh, the other individual who is joining me in this venture at the moment. And I encourage you guys, if you want to try this, definitely join us. I'm going to make a Facebook page. I'm going to, I've already set up the Discord. And that way we can keep in touch. If you die, I mean, it really is you being honest. I have video to prove that if I live or die or not. Um, and we'll try to make a community out of it. We'll have events whenever you hit the 20... Uh, level 20 mark because that's a big deal that you've made it that far without dying and um, once we uh, once we get going and hopefully we'll get a, a good amount of people wanting to join us so I'm taking this as a newbie in a way but I'm also going to be cautious I uh, don't know these tunnels very well don't know if there's anything in them that can kill me so um gonna be careful oh oh hello cleaner um that is something that was mentioned um wow look at all the gems in the walls i mean the the dwarves are known for for that so um wow there's a whole ecosystem down here to to pull from oh, here comes a rat um it's a giant rat it is yellow to me so I'm not going to attack that one. That is yellow to me as well. And then you have the cleaner coming back behind them, which is red. So maybe I should just go outside for now and work on getting uh, bone chips. That kind of thing uh, should be the easiest way to level. Did I go this way? I think so. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and meet you guys outside. One other thing I was going to say before um, we go outside is that... Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I always get um, lost here. Okay, so I think I go this way. I kind of went the wrong way that time. Um, yeah, so this should lead out to where the guards are. And if we go back this way, you can find the blacksmith. So any weapons that you get before you sell them, uh, get some, um, some stones. I, I forget what they're called. So you can sharpen those weapons before you actually turn them in. So here we go. Um, this is a great place to start, actually. I'm, I'm not having a problem with that you have um bats you have bugs you have undead oh i'm gonna try it that might be a one plat staff right there which is definitely worth trying to get and these guys should be i mean i don't have any other attack except for the dagger go dagger kill the kill the guy <laughs> hopefully it is is it what is it called a chip staff or something along those lines yes oh cracked it's cracked staff we we now have a plat to our name that is amazing um goblins i think i those are yellow oh those are even too maybe i should put this over con is or where's the con thing who random other? Whoa, 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 whoa. Main attack. By thing. Okay, it's a golem whelp. Con it. We're going for it. Oh, he's already got me a 50. Strafe. Strafe. Go. Go, go. Go. 
All right. There we go. Um, yeah, I knew the goblins were something you didn't want to mess with. One thing I know well is how to make money in this game. Uh, so don't be surprised if I have decent stuff at level 20. Ways to make money, especially on this continent. This, especially in this area yeah that's me editing my chat <laughs> um so how you can make money here is by selling bone chips you can also oh spear spear okay let's go ahead and pull back just a little bit not to the guards though come on hit him why isn't it scrolling why isn't it showing me hitting him here or is it here? Let's hit the scroller thing. Usually I don't like to have the scroll. Um, now we'll tr turn the scroll off. Should automatically scroll though. Oh yeah, bone chips. All right, so let's go ahead and Good thing is, is level one, your regeneration is amazing. So it does. It's not very hard to to get back up and going. Let's see. The skeletons seem to be doing me well, though I know that they go goblin. Let's take a look over this way. Uh huh. You're gonna start walking my way right as I head that direction. Oh, no, 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 okay, there we go. Oh, attack him. Oh, jeez, goblin's on me too. Goblin! Yep, yep, goblin's on me. Oh, jeez, let's get away from that goblin. Jump it. Scoot, scoot it. All right, let's see if I can handle any of this. Oh man, it's gonna be such a way. Oh my god, that's so close. So close. So close. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please, 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 please. I'll sit, 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 sit. Oh my god. <laughs> that was. Oh. That too close, too close. <laughs> I thought I was dead. I thought it was saying. I thought it was about to say I was dead. That I was zoning. Uh, oh wow, <laughs> that was um. Whew. That that's not fun. <laughs> oh no, I'm being healed. Okay, it's not anything because of my level. <laughs> now, if she buffs me, I, I, I what level is she? Um, dun, dun, dun. she's a level twelve or level seventeen. That really isn't bad. Uh, if she was say level forty or fifty or something like that, uh, then there would be a problem with that. Okay, let's get the let's get the skeleton. Skelet don't bring your goblin friends. Oh my gosh, those goblins are rough. That's why uh, that's why I was thinking they were yellow. And they actually act like a yellow anyway. Whew. Oh my goodness, this is this is a thing. This is definitely a thing. Um I yeah, I don't know what that command would be. Uh, to show how many um, deaths you've had in your lifetime or anything like that. If there is a kill-death ratio kind of thing that's even in the game. I, I don't really know if there is that kind of command. Um, snake. Bug. He's going to be yellow. Trying to find a good place that I can pull from 
that uh, like I know that over here these guys usually are by themselves. So maybe pull to those guards if and they do add on so let's go ahead and try to snap this guy get away from that goblin I'm doing pretty good damage right off the bat but man those goblins they just eat through eat through my uh, my experience or through my health rather okay there's a goblin there's a skeleton over here let's go kill it Yeah, these things die so fast. Good 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 way to start, I, I think, is just by sticking with the undead. So I wanted to reflect on everything that happened today. Also some other information that you may want to know if you want to uh join us in this venture. I enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. It was really bringing myself back to the roots of whenever I first started playing Project 1999 or playing EverQuest. Really enjoying the fact that there are quests here that will allow me to advance in level. And also I can take and twist those around by selling those quest items to other people. Uh, that also goes to uh, doing the things in Crushbone, I was about to say Black Burrow, and getting those belts and then also turning those in. That will give me armor and be able to help me to move along. Was able to get an update or an upgrade rather by getting the Rusty Rapier, which ended up helping me a whole lot in the end here. And I just had a ton of fun. Now, if you guys are interested in joining in on this permadeath group, or guild rather, that I've made, which is called No Time to Res, all you'll need to do is, is contact us. Contact me, um, either via Facebook. I also put the Discord information in. And we will get you in. Uh, all you will need to do is you'll have to random uh, one out of 13. That will allow us to figure out what your race is. And then you'll random based on the number of classes uh, that race has to figure out what class you will be starting. Uh, once you've um, created your character, uh, you'll be invited to the guild. And this is one of the things that was brought up today. Someone said that, why don't we give prizes to people who've reached milestones or have uh, gotten the highest level for the month? Things like that. Well, if we do that, what we plan on doing is not giving those prizes to your permadeath character, but be giving them to your main character. Say, give a thousand plat to whoever is the highest level at the end of the month. And every week we'll have meetings to celebrate different kinds of milestones like level 20 30 40 and then also we will uh gather together and remember the ones that we've lost and hopefully we won't have lost very many during that time but in those cases at least we are taking the time to at least think about the fact that this is a life or death situation on a daily basis in this game uh, versus uh, doing our rules, that is, and really just will make it a little bit more different because you really are losing that character. That character uh, needs to be deleted to be part of this guild. You need to be honest with us. If you die, you died. And this is um, one of the other things is a rule rule number five is no matter how you die dead is dead and that's it uh it doesn't matter if it's lag if uh you zoned into ocean of tears and you're not on the boat anymore and you have to swim and a shark kills you you're dead is dead
<laughs> that's how we're gonna how we're gonna roll this now i'm recording myself i would like to see you guys at least post videos or maybe even post pictures pictures of whenever you create your character and then also showing your uh, maybe a picture of your um your character list where that character no longer exists something along those lines to just show and then we can put that on our um on our facebook page we can put it on the discord and whenever someone dies you'll just let everybody know that way uh for those of the people those people who are not on during the time that you died um, we'll be able to get on and say, oh, we lost this person today. And al also at that time, you can tell us what your new character is going to be based off of the rolling system, things like that. And I, I think it should be, uh, should be a pretty good, uh, time. One of the things that I also wanted to go ahead and say is that you can use the economy to your advantage. If you're really good at using the AC tunnels to buy things, a friend of mine can buy things for so <laughs> low money and I just don't understand how he does it. And then, uh, you, um, and then you can use those to advance yourself. But here are the things that you cannot do in this guild. One is you cannot receive buffs that are above your level range. If someone is 10 levels above you and they're buffing you, that is, you need to remove those buffs. Um, it's, it's like receiving PTOG at level 1. That's, that's no-go as well. You cannot loot anything that you do not kill as well. This will allow us to be um, to be able to only loot things that us ourselves or our group, and that means that not being grouped with a level sixty at level one, and they go kill something, and you're able to loot it, means that if you've killed it and your group has killed it together, then you can loot it. You can't loot bodies that are just laying around. You can't loot guards that people have killed. Those kind of things. And that will allow us to uh, be a little bit better on that. Because if you start at level 1 and fell with, and someone is killing the guards and they're not loading the items because they're only there for the experience, that's that's a lot of plat that you can make really fast by just looting those corpses. So we want to, we just want to bring that down and say only the things that you've killed can you loot. And uh, that's it, really, guys. I just have fun with it, and hopefully you'll enjoy it, uh, or that you'll enjoy it. You'll join us, and we'll just have some crazy fun doing it. I um, I gotta say that in the end, uh, overall. I am glad that I'm I'm doing this. I'm glad that I started it and hopefully we'll get more people in and just have a really big uh, guild. Uh, but you know people are gonna die. It's just it's just how it is. That is life um, is death in taxes as they say and it just happens to be that your tax is that when you die, you cannot be res. you have to delete your character. So. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.